friends, Sonya here. It's a cloudy day outside. Nothing better than crafting inside when the weather is yeah, outside. That's our palm tree. It's uh, not doing too well. It had a really harsh winter this past winter, so it might have to come down. It's looking pretty sad. All the fronds are dead all the way down the tree, which is very abnormal. I'm just going to bring you down here. I finished up a few things today. So you'll remember that I was working on making flower embellishments yesterday for treat boxes. So I just wanted to show you a few more things that I used for that. These are little tags. I'm just gonna try and bring you in without shaking too much. Not little tags, labels, I don't know what you want to call them, but uh, Natasha from Treasure Books, she's a junk journal artist, and she very kindly has a freebie on her website. I, It's either on her Facebook or website or Etsy store or something like that. Um, I found it somehow. It's called, like I say, she goes by Natasha from Treasure Books. And she has a freebie. It's two pages of just little quotes. The really nice little, some of them are inspirational. Some of them are like this, just because it says, and stop and enjoy. It took me quite a few hours to cut them apart, even though I used my slide trimmer. I think most of you who will watch this probably already know, but I we were rear-ended in our van almost nine years ago now. It was uh, December 31st, 2013. And that accident affected my processing time for thinking. It affected my speech patterns. It affected my word finding capabilities. It affected motor control and coordination of my hands and legs. Uh, those things are all more noticeable when I am fatigued and I get fatigued very easily from anything that involves processing and thinking and speaking. And But I have come a long way in 10 years since it almost happened and I have all along been very happy with the capabilities I do have and the improvement that has happened with my brain and body coordination, nerves, whatever it is over the past year. Correction, over the past so eight years. So freebies for art is always very good. So yeah, Natasha from Treasure Books, I appreciated those freebies. And even though it took me a long time to cut them apart, look at that. I have quotes galore for card making in my journals from now on. So that's how I spent part of yesterday. And then I talked yesterday about making tags. And this is really cool because, again, it was fairly inexpensive. This is a, a, a six by six paper pad. Dollar Tree, you'd be surprised what they bring in sometimes. I have found things under the Recollections brand, which is actually what Michael's store sells. And I believe this uh, paper pad was from Michael's and, and probably they were liquidating and Dollar Tree got them to liquidate. But anyway, I cut them out using these here, our little tag dies. And aren't they pretty? I cut these, oops, sorry, I cut these tags out. And then out of my glue book pages, I had talked in another video about when I'm gluing things for journal making, I use old book pages. And then the nice thing is you can just use those glued together papers for other projects. So that's what I made these tags out of. This is actually just book page that's glued together. This one even has an image on it. But yeah, the, it's wonderful. Books always have just blank parts at the top of a page or at the bottom of a page, and that's what I used. You don't have to waste anything. You don't need a lot of money to enjoy to do crafting. And if you don't have dies or a die cutting machine, I have a big shot. I treated myself a 
couple years ago to a big shot and the neat thing is you don't need a big shot you could just cut tags like this out with just scissors do little rectangles cut off the corners and then you have tags as well i wanted to share with you a little tool i do love this little tool it's made out of teflon the company is called craft treat and this is perfect when you're gluing things you can push it down to make sure they're nicely solidly adhered and it, because it's teflon it doesn't stick to anything so that's one of my go-to tools uh, what else i love my stencil this this stencil here in particular i'm sorry i don't recall who makes it i showed it to you in another video about my journal making but the cool thing about this stencil is really if you get a stencil like this you only need it you don't need a whole bunch of other stencils because it has so many different patterns on it that you can use partially or corners of for what i did with the tags today i just used that stripe part there and here is the treat box with the finished tag See, I used Stop and Enjoy. I just double layered it, some dollar, tor dollar store twine. I do have problems pronouncing words when I get fatigued. Actually, all the time, it's not just fatigued, but hey, isn't that normal for everybody? And here are my 12 flower embellishments that I made for the to go on the treat boxes. So they're all finished and ready. And I just wanted to show you what that looks like when it's all done. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope you're having a great Sunday and it's been a fantastic weekend for you. Bye for now.